Right, so for today's video, we are going to be talking about pendulums, and she's got super upset because she folded it, but we don't care because we're the penguin. Today's video is going to be an exact part two of yesterday's video where we did pendulum deck building and show you guys how... <laughs> Oh, my bad. All right, so if this is your first time watching this segment, what we do is we look through the dueling book and look for the sickest pendulum text. All a bunch of these out here. We're gonna do a little format where it's like uh, this type of camera, but because uh, the camera was absolutely garbage, I think. But we're going to see how this goes. Uh, we're gonna we finished the first page uh, yesterday, so today we're gonna be doing the second page of dueling book of pendulums and seeing if there's any spicy text that we could use uh, one day. Yesterday, we, we found out some good text. Uh, the Abyss Actors, there's a lot of good Abyss Actors, the Morphages, uh, also like the Aether that could be good against Thunder Dragons. We figured out a lot of sick text yesterday. So today, we are going to figure out uh, better text and different text live while, as I do it. So you guys are gonna see, go in the mind of the pen god and see how I do this, because I want you guys to understand how to deck build as well. Uh, you guys don't need to be asking me what uh, uh, you guys don't mean net decking people, uh, Rohan, net, Rohan Thomas, so I'm going to absolutely obliterate on stream in a week. We're going to be playing in one week, if you guys don't know. We're going to be playing live in one week. Uh, the real pe pen god versus the pen fraud, Rohan Thomas, skinny Indian boy. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, he net decked Jeremy Mitchell, who's going to be an actual challenge to me. Uh, not really. I'm going to 4-1 him, like, but I'm going to 4-0 Rohan. But anyways, uh, he net decked Jeremy Mitchell. Uh, people net deck me, people net deck others. Uh, you, there's no need to net deck when you have a brain and you have Dueling Book, the database. So we're gonna make a pendulum database with all the sick pendulum cards, so you don't need to net deck anyone. Rather than net decking, you just use the best cards because you have all the card, all the, you have access to every single good card ever made in history. So why do you need a net deck when you just use these sick cards yourself and have a brain and just actually build something from it? So with that being said, we're gonna go right on to page two. Uh, I had I saw this very interesting comment on my video where it said, why don't you just cut it to one to have more space for your database? It's genius. Uh, shout out to you, bro. We are going to do that. So as you see now, we're going to be cutting down all three ofs. So it's just a bunch of, it's all one ofs. Just so you have a database of cards that are good. So you know which cards to use. And then when you're eventually building your deck, you're going to have a database of all these cards rather than looking through it all. So maybe you could fit everything on two pages of, of two decks of Dueling Book. And that way, when you build your deck, this database, when, it, when I complete it, is gonna have, I'm going to have access to gonna, uh, It's going to have a downloadable link for a pendulum database of all the good pendulum cards you could use. When you guys come up, we're going to add more to it. So it's how to get in the mind of the pen god so you guys can learn how to deck build yourself rather than net decking. So let's get started. Page two. We're going to look at the two amorphages from the other day, but Archfiend is centric. Everyone knows what Eccentric does. Uh, put in the scale, destroy a spell or trap. Uh, put in the, uh, when it's on the monster zone, destroy a monster in the field. There's always going to be some use for this card, some way. It's searchable, it's level 3 fiend, you bring out a tour guide, there's a lot of different plays you can do with it. You can pop your own spell of traps to have a uh, utility with it. Sometimes you, you're going to use, there's going to be some floodgates that come out that uh, hurt, or that people are going to, like, there's going to be some deck out there one day that's going to be main decking floodgates. Uh, let's say, for example, a rivalry or something, you can just put a center and skill to destroy it. So a centric is definitely a card that you're gonna want to have access to. So we're gonna put an eccentric in our database, where we're now calling this a pendulum database. So you start it yourself if you want, or you can stick with me in these videos. We're gonna be doing a long process of it where we're gonna get every single good pendulum card ever made. There's gonna be probably 10 parts to this until eventually the very end, you're gonna have a whole database just so you guys understand how I do it. I get, get in the mind of the pen guys. So you guys can do it too, right? Uh, so you guys don't need to like lean on me for so you can actually do it yourself. I want to teach a little. Next, Black Fang Magician. Obviously, it's a magician. All good magicians you're going to have access to in your pendulum database. So Black Fang, we're going to put in. Astrograph, my homie. You're banned, unfortunately. So we can't put Astrograph in, unfortunately, because he's banned. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to have a little segment of banned cards. We're going to put banned cards at the very end, just in case you know when they're going to come back. And you're still going to have them in your database, just in case they get unbanned. Now, Bujin Hiroko. It's a garnet. It does uh well the monster effect is literally like uh, has no monster effect. The reason why Hiroko was played, uh or used to have some play, was the little combo with Kagasushi, 
when zodiacs were a thing. So I'm gonna pull out the Bujin XYZs, where you search this with Broadbull, and you can go into this, this, or you go into whatever. Like you have a lot of plays you could do where you go into uh, uh, Broadbull with Search Roko, you summon it, you go make a rank four, you get Kaikatsushi Mill five, whatever you need to do, I'm Thrasso, et etc. et cetera. So many sick plays you could do with it. We're gonna add it just in case. You never know when a good card that can search Beast Warriors can come out. And maybe there's one out there that I'm not thinking of. A card that can search Bujin Hiroko. So a card that can search a Beast Warrior that's searchable. Uh, something like a Time Storm Magician that searches it. Well, obviously Time Storm can't search Bujin Hiroko. But a card will eventually come out that can search Bujin Hiroko. Like Broadbull did. And if Broadbull comes back, this card's going to be so going to have so much play. So we're going to add Hiroko onto the little side deck area here. Where these cards are going to be good if other cards come out for them. So if another good card comes out to make Comic Release Effect good, then we're going to be playing it. Except the same with uh, Oroko. You know what? We're going to put Asagraph there too. These are cards that are going to need a card to come out the ban list or a good card to come out in order to be good. So we're still going to add them there. Next, we're going to go back to our Pendulum page. All right. Back to page two. We're looking at the next card. Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. This is the new prize card. This was supposed to be my card, but Konami cucked me and banned me. I don't even know why they banned me. Everyone knows I didn't cheat. They just banned me because I was too strong. Free the Pen God. But, for those of you who don't know what this card does, you can pay a thousand life points, target one of your banished dragon monsters, destroy this card, bringing it to the Pendulum Extra Deck Zone, destroy this card, and if you do, add the banished monster to your hand. This card already sees plays in Thunder Dragon, you can play this card in Thunder Dragon or any Twilight deck. And then the monster effect. Cannot be normal summon or set. Must be special summon by banishing a light and dark from your graveyard. You can only special summon. Chaos, uh, Chaos Emperor of the Dragon Armor get it once per turn this way. Once per turn you can pay half your life points. Set as many... Set as many cards you control as possible to the graveyard. Except from the extra deck, etc, etc. Monster, monster effect is pretty good. The Pendulum is good, the Monster is pretty good, it's a good card. Yeah, it's $1,000 right now. No one wants to play a $1,000 card that's just decent, it's not even that good, it's just an okay card. But, it could be some play, there's gonna be more light and darks coming out, so you never know what's gonna happen with this card, but it's definitely gonna be worth to put it in the database. Chaos Emperor of Dragon of Armageddon is a good card, it is not a great card. You can't just play it right now, because the card itself, if you're just gonna throw it in the Pendulum Magician deck, it sucks. You're gonna have to build a deck around it, and I'm working on a crazy version of it because, yeah, maybe I'm banned, but you never know when I'm going to get unbanned. If I get unbanned within this season, I'm winning this card. It's a prize card. I'm winning it in my first event. I don't care. Konami, unban the pen god. Stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan, all right? Like Joey said, unban me, Konami. That is the game plan. Next, don't no forget about Chronograph Sorcerer. Chronograph, one of the best pendulum cards in the game right now. Uh, it's funny. The second Asher got banned, who, who made these videos about pendulums? I did. I told you guys that this card's incredible. A lot of you guys didn't even listen to me. A lot of you guys thought this card sucked. I was the one who told you Chronograph's amazing since day one. And people obviously play it now. If I wasn't, if I didn't ever play Yu-Gi-Oh, I would doubt that Chronograph even sees play. Same with Curtain Razor. Same with a bunch of these Pendulum cards that people play now. Rescue Hamster. Everything. They only see play because of me. Anyways. We're going to go next into this Synchro Clear Wing Fast Dragon. I'm not even going to read it. It's a Pendulum Extra Deck Monster. It's going in the database. You're always going to have some use for cards like this. So you can't just throw it away. There's always going to be some use for it. Next. Crystal Keeper. Now, let me do all you guys the favor and not even read this card. Because this card is a definition of utter piss. Not even worthy of being printed. It is garbage. I tried to find ways to play this with, with Crystal Beast, but uh, Crystal Beast Pendulums, but it was so bad. I I lost a, uh, I lost to uh, some like normal summon Garnet Pass type of deck. So after that, I was just like, never again. Crystal Master, exact same idea. Any Crystal Beast Pendulum card, you're going to throw in the garbage and never look at it again. Because we're not playing any of those and we're, it's not even worthy of being in our database. Next, DD Cerberus. This is interesting. Now, a lot of you guys want me to do a DDD video. I want to tell you guys something. I got a DDD video in the works. Alright? I love... I love the DD deck. It is incredible. I got some in the works of DDD pendulums. So stay tuned for it. 
Now, DD Cerberus itself is a fantastic card. It just requires a few, a little situational, but in itself, it's a plus one, and you want all the plus one cards possible. So when this card Pendulum Summon from the hand, while you control a DD monster other than it, you can target a continuous spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. The idea behind it, if the deck's filled with a bunch of DD Pendulums, and if it's the version I'm building is crazy amounts of DDs, it really focuses on DDs with just turbo cards that are Pendulums to go into Electrum uh, to get the place going. Uh, so, the point of it is you're going to Pendulum a, another DD anyways with Cerberus, and you're going to add back the uh, any of the contracts that are going to be in the grave to your hand. And there's a few DDs that even send contracts, you play Foolish Brother, got so much random stuff that gives you plus ones. So, it's a decent card in the DD version. We're going to do what I told you guys about cards that are situational. We're going to put it in the side deck version, which you need to play other Abyss actors for the Abyss actor ones. You're going to need to play other, uh, the Bujin Beast Warriors for Bujins. Uh, Astrogram needs to get unbanned. And then for DD service, you're going to play more DDs. So we're going to put cards like that in the side deck version of our database. Next, DD Orthos. This one, if I remember, is a little different. So once per day, you can target a spell trap on the field. And one other DD or Dark Contra card you control, destroy them. Eccentric is just a million times better in that regards. Uh, next, when you, take, when you take battle or effect damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summoned this way, you can't express one monster for the rest of the turn except feed monsters. I really wish you didn't have that. Because then you would have three Leonidas and three Orthos uh, to build a summon against Brick Stars. Uh, it's just not that good. Uh, you get the special summon, yeah, but you can't special summon a uh, monster for the rest of the turn except feed monsters. That's garbage. Not worth a look. But we are going to do, you know what? Wow. Wow. I just found a use for this garbage card. We're adding it to the list. Wow. Like, remember when I told you guys about eccentric eventually being very useful? Well, now you're going to have, you get to play like nine eccentrics with this because contract, search for this, effect, destroy the floodgate. And yeah, if it's anti speller order, you can't do that. But there's going to be some sort of deck in the future that is going to play floodgate on deck. Dracos was a thing, and it was a great success. True Dracos was a fantastic success. So, Konami, this is what, this is what they do. They look at uh, decks that were success, and they copy it, etc. A deck will come out with crazy floodgates, traps, etc. This card is going to come clutch. It is like an eccentric, and you get to search it with contract. So, Orthos is a great card. One day, will be a great card. One day, DD Orthos is going to be a fantastic pendulum tech. Don't forget it. It's just another eccentric that's searchable. It's an eccentric that's searchable. So, you're going to have the option to search an eccentric, or search the Kepler, like an actual combo piece, right? So... Uh, it's needed. It's definitely needed in the database. Not needed in a deck right away. Not even needed in a DDD deck right away. But it's definitely fantastic to have as a database as a card that could pop a spell or trap when decks like Paleo or something could be relevant or a new type of trap deck comes out. It's good to have spell trap removal type of options. Next, DD Proud Chevalier. The card that if it was level 4 would be a fantastic card. Unfortunately, it's level 5. If this card is normal summon, I'm not tripping summoning you. What the heck, Konami? You can add one face of Dark Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand. Now, if it was level 4, it would be a fantastic card. But since it's level 5, it's, uh, it's not a fantastic card. So the scale effect is once per turn, you can pay 500 life points, then target face of monster your opponent controls. Garbage, garbage. The card sucks. Don't play it. Next, DD Prod Ogre. Same idea. It's a level 6, but if it was a level 4, it would be a fantastic card. Why, are, why is Konami making these cards level 5 and 6, where you're not normal summoning these cards? When this card is normal summon, special summon a face-up dark pendulum monster from your extra deck, but has its effect negated. And then you go and special summon DD monsters. I might even play it if the DD part wasn't there. But that's piss. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not playing it. I'm not even putting it in the database. Copernicus. This card's actually good. DD7 Copernicus. It's a plus 1. Effect. When this card is normal or special, normal or special, send a DD or Dark Contract card from your gra uh, deck to grave. From deck to grave. Lamia. There's so much stuff you can do here. There's other DDs that have effects in grave. It's a fantastic card. We're definitely putting it in the database. And we play three Copernicus in our new DD version. Look out for it. Copernicus is another plus one. And Pendulum needs a plus one. I said it from day one. Magic Spectres, DDs. They're all plus ones. All you need is more Pendulum plus ones. No, it's not over, all right? Tell, someone tell her Yu-Gi-Oh's life, all right? Next, DD7 Galilei. It's very hard to believe, but I'm sorry to say that to all your little fans out there. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is not life. 
And it's a lot better than watching annoying girly shows like 13 Reasons Why and Vampire Diaries and the Originals. Who watches that shit? What you the hell? Do. <laughs> he watches that. <laughs> Kepler has no reason. You gotta play Kepler, man. I understand there's only one Electro, but after I build this DD deck, it's absolutely remarkable. Man, all I gotta say is I love my Yu-Gi-Oh decks like I like, love my girls. DDs. So you gotta play DD Simon Kepler. What? Why did you just say that? Because I felt like it, alright? Play DD Kepler. Next, DD Savant Newton. So, for those of you who don't know, the scale effect is not very good. But the monster effect, discard this card, target DD or Dark Hunter card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Trash, not playing it. Next, DD Savant Nikola. Nikola? Nikola, yeah. Is he Serbian? No, Macedonian. Oh. If this card in the pendulum zone is destroyed, target a DDD monster you control, return it to the hand. Then, uh, blah, 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 blah. Actually, it sucks. It's not Macedonian. It's definitely Albanian. Garbage card. Don't play it. Don't say that. Next, that's it for the second page. So, we're, we're actually going to add Thomas on here, DD7 Thomas. Good old Thomas. We're going to add that there because uh, we're going to play it anyways. We're now done. Starting the show right now. Have some compassion when you're saying it. Like, you. Not just because you want them to go to the gym to watch your videos. You want them to go to the gym because you genuinely care. Like, 